Remember there was no Juicy J for a minute? Mm -hmm. He had fell off and then all of a sudden his music got real good and on the radio? Mm -hmm. It's called This Guy Named Vin Villa. Mm -hmm. Who literally wrote like the five star chick verse. Mm -hmm. Who literally wrote these like, the stuff that we know, like he's famous right now based on it. So I'm talking to these hella excited. I just got back from the studio. Da, 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 da. I said, oh, so you got like a writing deal with him? You got a production deal, you know, like you got like a, what y'all, you know, what y'all got like a, you know, like at least a production deal, like it might not be a full music publishing deal, but you got at least a little like work for hire, mm -hmm. four songs, and he was like, nah, I said, nah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like, well, hey, you know, it's real easy, you know what I'm saying, just tell dude, you know, he was like, well, I said, so you just not getting nothing, like you just go, he was like, I just want to work with them, you know, I'm just excited to work with them, I said, he just got paid $50,000 off of your record. Up front, that don't include every time he performs it, every time it's played on the radio, every time it's licensed on any TV, 106 in part, twice a, every day, three times a day on these different radio stations, different te television stations. That's just the ones we know about, right? So he tells me, no, it's not that big a deal. That's how I got here today. He just gave me gas money, $40. So tonight, I have to go back and I have to write. He wants me to write 10 records. I said, what night? <laughs> he said, two night. And I'm like, tonight, tonight? Are you guys sure? Are you sure you're going to do it? He was like, yeah, I'm just happy to work with them. I said, oh, okay. Fast forward, two years later, another producer is telling me about this great songwriter. We walk in the room and it's the same kid that I talked to before. He was like, you told me. Mm -hmm. And I said, what are you talking about? He was like, I'm currently in court going through an agreement, disagreement, lawyer, back, you know, issues going back and forth because I didn't sign that kind of, oh, you got smart. So when I told you he just made the $50,000 and you went and still wrote the 12 songs for free, 10 songs that night, it didn't, it didn't even, it didn't even, it didn't even mesh up. Like it just was like completely out of his head. You guys sell music. You don't give away music. I don't care if somebody gave you $75 for the record. It's yours. You made it. They didn't make it. They didn't make it. You own all of the stuff that comes out of your brain. It's your intellectual property. You own it. Get something. Stop giving the records away. I don't care. How, literally. Uh, how much of a $30. Thank you. Get something for it, you know what I mean? And of course, sign the split sheet so you can get some royalties just in case, you know, it gets, you know, famous later. But the point is, get the stuff and have that conversation. Like all this, we buddy buddy, you the artist and you do this. Because believe me, he gonna get his money. Because even if he don't sell a record, he's going to go perform it.